Hello everybody, it's Margaret here. Sinead is busy filming something spooky for you all, which we will release on Saturday night. And so, to hold you over until then, I've taken this small clip from my Hampton Court Palace tour that details the hauntings that are said to take place there, including the ghost that famously appeared on their security cameras a few years ago. We have more Halloween content coming your way next week, so stay tuned. Dressed in his crown and finest robes, Henry would emerge from his private apartments and process through this corridor on Sundays and religious festivals, as this was the path from his private apartments to the chapel. Courtiers would line the route, everybody eagerly awaiting an opportunity to see the king, and for the king to see them. Reportedly, it was during one of these processions that Henry first set eyes upon his next wife, Catherine Howard. And now we enter the next part of Henry's processional route, the haunted gallery. As we enter, there's a portrait on the left depicting Catherine Howard, as well as her motto, quote, no other will than his. Catherine and Henry were married just 19 days after the annulment of Henry's marriage to Anne of Cleves. Catherine's age isn't known, but she was likely around 19, while the king was 49. Henry was besotted with her, spoiling her with gifts at their first Christmas together, spent here at Hampton Court, and calling her his, quote, rose without a thorn, leading to the creation of her badge depicting a thornless Tudor rose. Within two years of their marriage, however, Catherine was accused of adultery, and Henry was furious. Reportedly, his counselors thought he had gone mad, such was the extent of his rage. Henry was in the nearby chapel when Catherine learned she was to be charged with adultery, a crime for which her cousin, Anne Boleyn, had been executed. Hysterical, she escaped her guards and ran screaming down the processional route, trying to get to the king. She believed if she could get to him, she could convince him of her innocence. However, she never made it. She was seized by guards and taken, screaming and wailing, back to her apartments. She would never see Henry again, and was executed at the Tower of London on the 13th of February, 1542. Reportedly, Catherine's spirit is not at rest. For centuries, stories have circulated that Catherine's ghost can be seen rushing down the gallery, and the echoes of her screams are heard in this part of the palace. So embedded in palace lore is this story that by the time Hampton Court was opened to the public in the 19th century, this room was already referred to as the Haunted Gallery. The Victorians loved ghost stories and really tried to capitalize on the idea of Hampton Court Palace being haunted, as you can see from these historical postcards, property of HRP, featuring the quote-unquote ghosts of the palace. Catherine Howard is there, of course. In fact, she appears twice. Here, and then again in the Great Hall, with confusingly what appears to be her executioner. How did he get here? Hmm. There she is. Another shows a Sybil Penn, known at the palace as the Grey Lady. A wet nurse to Edward VI, she later nursed Queen Elizabeth I devotedly during a bout of smallpox. The queen would survive, but Sybil didn't. Her restless spirit is still said to walk these halls. Although these days, perhaps the most famous ghost is that of the affectionately named Skeletor. For three consecutive nights in 2003, Hampton Court security staff were notified of the opening of a fire door near Clock Court. CCTV footage from all three nights clearly shows the doors forcefully being flung open, but on the second night, the footage reveals a figure. Dressed in period clothing, the unknown entity reaches out after the doors have been forced open and closes them one by one. If a prank, no one has ever come forward to claim credit, and the true origins of Skeletor remain a mystery. 